Hello everyone and welcome to the same game. We'll be getting started here in about five minutes. Please be sure to share and uh, like the page and everything like that to let us get going. We've got two great contestants tonight playing for two great charities. Girls Who Code and the Spit and Vigor Theater. All of your donations tonight and contributions to our theater are using paypal.me slash Fresnel Theater or Venmoing us at Fresnel Theater. Half of that money will go to the theaters and charities they have chosen. Um, and we will also put the links to where they've chosen in the chat. So thank you so much again for joining us and be sure to like and share. We'll be getting started here in about four minutes. Hello everyone and thank you once again for joining us tonight. Please be sure to share and like the video. The Fresnel Theater and Comedy Sports Maine are still around throughout all of this stuff that's going on with the different variants and we're not just talking about Loki winning the Tour de France. So, if you are able to help us out with a contribution, please visit us at paypal.me slash Fresnel Theater or Venmo us at Fresnel Theater. And if it asks for the last four of the code, that is four, six, seven, eight. Like a choreographer who doesn't know how to count. Thank you again for joining us. We'll be getting started here in two minutes.
Hello everyone and welcome to the same game. It's like the match game, but just the same. And we just call it the same game to avoid copyright infringement. Thank you so much again for joining us. We really enjoy having you here. And chat, go ahead and say hello to our wonderful panelists because I am about to bring them out. Let's go ahead and let's meet our panelists tonight. Our panelists tonight include Chris Crotty. We have Eric Darrow Worthley. Rhea Torricelli. Tommy Barber. Glenn Packman. The one, the only, the indisputable Samer of Sames, Randy Hunt. And your host tonight, Jay Rambo! Hello, hello, and welcome back to the same game. It's the same game that was the same game last week, but it's not the same game because we've got all new questions and an all new panel of stars. Hello, stars! Hey, Jay! Hi. Let's check in with some of our uh, panelists tonight. Uh, first off, Glenn. Hey, how are you? Glenn, you were a contestant not that long ago. Just and, a few uh, weeks ago. Now you're in the panelist chair. How's, how's that feel? It's amazing how life just morphs and things change. And I mean, so unexpected. So unexpected. It is. It is. How are things going where you're at? Fantastic. Um, very busy with work. Uh, looking like we're sliding back a little pandemic wise, but trying to keep an upbeat uh, demeanor. And shh, don't tell anybody. Adopting a pandemic kitty. Aww. Aww. We'll expect to see pictures when it happens. Facebook will be nothing but kitty wallpaper, believe me. Excellent. Excellent. Tommy, welcome oh, in. Hello, Jay Rambo. How are you tonight? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? You know, if I was any but, I don't know. I was going to make up something, but I, 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 we'll just go with fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to start making things up now. No, that, that would no. be, that'd exactly. be a little weird. It, it, it's, it's not the right time for that. All right, all right. And uh, Randy, hey, haven't seen you, you doing, in a bit. Jay? You've been busy. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, busy. Things are finally, we're fun. things were starting to happen, and then things are now not happening. So, <laughs> Well, it's and, good my, you were able to do things while they were happening. That's true. I, and I just want to say I love the, Jane, the Gene Rayburn microphone. Well, love it. yeah, it's, it's, not exactly, you know, matching this microphone, but it's essentially it's, the same. It's close. It's it's same enough. All right, but uh, glad to have you back, Randy, and uh, we'll meet the, the rest of the panel later. But first, we need to welcome out <laughs> our contestants. Uh, we've got... Coming yes. in from Lower Connecticut, it's George Walsh. And from Boston, it's Elizabeth Guerra. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in, uh, George. Yes. Give us a uh, thirty-second biography about George. Oh, I guess well, it'd be an uh, autobiography. Uh, uh, okay, I live in Connecticut. Uh, I used to be in finance, but I quit that uh, several years ago. Became an actor, and then COVID hit, and I haven't been working since. So since that, no. Uh, but it's, <laughs> but it's been uh, it's been busy, and I was doing a lot of stuff in New York and uh, working in improv theaters and doing some plays and stuff, and. Uh, just been kind of redoing stuff now. We're working a lot of things on Zoom during workshops, and uh, my agent got me this shot on your show, so things are looking up. Excellent, excellent. Wow, we're, we've been noticed by agents. We're, we're moving up in the world. Elizabeth, yeah. welcome in. Tell us a little bit about you. Oh, let's see. I live in Boston, Mass. Uh, I work at a travel company right now, which has been super fun during COVID when nobody's traveling. Um, I also am a software engineer and I just finished up teaching a course in uh, beginning intro um, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Um, and we got a pandemic kitty last year. So I highly recommend that to play. <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. I'm getting pressure to get one, but I think our previous cat is not necessarily looking for companionship, but. My wife and the cat will have to talk that out. All right, so 
Uh, let's get on to the same game again. We'll have uh, rounds, and the first to win two rounds, or two games of two rounds each, uh, will win money for their charity. We'll find out about your charities later. Well, we had a practice round earlier, and George won that. So, George, you get to choose first in the opening game of same game. You get to choose question A or question B. Uh, I go for A. <laughs> Question A. All right, let me pull up my questions written by the uh, wonderful Matt Russell. Uh, question A. Dumb Donald is so dumb. How dumb, dumb is he? he? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, dumb Donald is so dumb, he thought gingivitis was blank. Once again, Dumb Donald is so dumb, he thought gingivitis was blank. So, George, you think on that while well, the panelists are writing down their answers? And uh, we'll talk with Elizabeth a little bit more since she doesn't have to think about this question at all. Uh, what's your pandemic kitty's name? Aura. She's Aura. all black. She usually is around here, but she isn't today. Her sister is actually right here on the floor. I'll show you her. All right. I always up for seeing a this kitty is, cat. This Aww. is Holly. She's not a pandemic kitty, but she's a very good girl. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Delighted to, to always be able to see people's kitties. And I'm, I'm very pro cat myself, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, looks like we got about half the panel in. Tommy's in. Rhea's still drawing, and Chris is still drawing. Rhea's done, and just looking for a little eye contact from Chris. We'll be ready to go. And there's eye contact. Good enough. All right. George, Dumb Donald is so dumb, he thought gingivitis was blank. Uh, soda pop. Soda pop. Soda pop. All right. We will start with Glenn. Ah, I went in a little bit of a different direction. I said that he thought that gingivitis was a drag queen. Ah. <laughs> Might have been right about that. Yeah. You, you never know. All right. Uh, not the same. That's good. That's good. Tommy. Uh, we might have to go to the judges on this one. Um, I went that route as well. I said caused by ginger ale. Ginger ale. I'm going to take that as the same. Yes. <laughs> Mark it down on my little score sheet here. Randy. A new brand of ginger ale. Taking it. All right, Rhea. Oh, I had um, the, kind of the same thing, but mine is a fancy ginger drink. Fancy ginger drink. Hmm, judges, do you want to take that? On this little glass. I don't know, except chat open. That's not going to help me. Are those bubbles in, in the glass? Yes, there are bubbles. It's, it's a bubble. All right, then I will take it. <laughs> I was thinking of bubbles. That, that was well done. You, you, the the, uh, the art saved you the same there. Eric. Uh, uh, went for an up-to-date pop culture reference, Cast Away. Cast Away. Not a same. Not a same. Good. Uh, and Chris? I'll appeal to the judges on this. I said, the forgotten red-haired eighth dwarf who hates Bashful, Bashful knows why. Bashful does know why. <laughs> it's not a same. Oh, so Chris. close. I know. You you would think, you know, if ginger ale's close, then to soda pop, then maybe a dwarf might be, but uh, not in this case, I'm afraid. Uh, however, excellent showing in the first round. You got three sames. Gives you the early lead of three with uh, Elizabeth's question coming up next. Hey, now that the Olympics are over, this is kind of a callback for anyone that was around last week. Now that the Olympics are over, Matt will have to go back to writing prompts about blank. And now that the Olympics are over, Matt will have to go back to writing prompts about blank. It's a reference course to Matt Russell, who writes all the questions and directs same game week after tireless week, other than next week when he won't be here. I don't know if he's still going to write the questions next week or not, but we did have three or four Olympics themed questions last week. So, uh, George, did you watch any Olympics? Yes, actually I watched uh, the golf. But I watched more of, that was kind of interesting to watch. Olympic golf, nice. Yeah. I, uh, 
I, I was mainlining the the badminton coverage. That's <laughs> just been my that? sport of choice. Uh, you know, it it was uh, dominated by the the Chinese. They apparently have like badminton uh, conventions, and their athletes just play nothing but badminton for three weeks straight to to get warmed wow. up. And, yeah. They they didn't sweep everything, but they got probably half the medals. Yeah. An alternate universe, I'd have I'd have been an Olympic badminton. All right, looks like we've got all of the uh, panelists in. Elizabeth, now that the Olympics are over, Matt will have to go back to writing prompts about blank. What's Matt going to have to write about? Beard growing. Beard growing. Beard growing. That uh, yeah, that would be something that that Matt knows about. Let's see if we get any sames from the panel. Start with Glenn. Okay, once again, a different direction. I said hemorrhoid commercials. Hemorrhoid commercials. Uh, not a same. No, <laughs> definitely not. Not a same. I've decided to take my producer privilege and sit here in judgment of all of you muted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on to Tommy. Tommy, are you ready to be judged by Matt? What's he writing about? Uh, I'm I'm always judged by Matt, but um, I went also a different direction, uh, and I went with Dungeons and or Dragons. Uh, dungeons and or Dragons, probably accurate, but not a same. Uh, Randy, uh, I said, dumb Donald. <laughs> dumb Donald, I I think you're onto something. That's probably correct, but not a same, unfortunately. Uh, say Maria. Oh, um, yeah, as a person who's working in the retail sector currently, um, I had to go with Christmas oh. because that seems to be what people are wanting to talk about now, even though it's 90 degrees outside. Well, you know, thinking of uh, a winter wonderland uh, seems like a good exercise, you know, mental exercise, if nothing else. And of course, falling right on the heels of that will be the Winter Olympics. So yeah, Matt would be, be set for the next six months for sure. Uh, but unfortunately, not the same. Eric. All the cool kids are doing it. Facial hair, Facial I'm gonna hair. take it. Yes. That is a same. Well done. Chris, what you got I for us? What's Matt writing about? Marvel what if stories. I think he would enjoy <laughs> They have 12 more episodes. One of them could be his. That's true. Could be. If one of them was mine, I'd be a lot healthier financially. Speaking of financially, if you'd like to donate to the same <laughs> game, you can look for the links for the Fresnel Theater in the chat. Uh, everything we've done is uh, fan-supported, so we appreciate any generosity you care to kick in to keep this show on the air. All right, so our score after uh, round one, game one, is Georgia three, Elizabeth with one. Uh, that means George gets to go first uh, to see if he can extend his lead or what Elizabeth has to catch up to in round two. So once again, A or B. And you are muted, so I'm I don't have your choices. I'm gonna stick with A. A, sticking with A, all right. And uh, you can only match with Glenn, Eric, and Chris this time. The other panelists can write stuff down so we can be amused with their answers, but you won't get sames oh. other than from those three. Oh, gosh. So the most you can get is six. All right, A, round two A. Owen Wilson just got hired by Microsoft. The first game he's promoting is called Blank. It's again, Owen Wilson just got hired by Microsoft. The first game he's promoting is called Blank. Elizabeth, did uh, you watch any of the Olympics? Since it was I a theme did. earlier. Yeah, I, I watched um, some of the uh, rhythmic gymnastics and some of the um, artistic swimming. It's very amazingly athletic. Uh, <laughs> I, I Yeah, I did actually. I think I watched a little bit of the... Uh, artistic swimming that was that was impressive oh and I, I do publicly need to make an apology uh, unrelated to the same game but uh to chris uh human steeplechase is actually an olympic event uh i actually think i watched the final of it 
somehow online. I, I don't know. But uh, I apologize. He, he got tossed out of a game last week. And oh, well. Didn't deserve it. So I apologize, Chris. Thank you. All right. Looks like almost all the panelists are in. Well, we only needed three to begin with. But uh, George. Yeah. Owen Wilson just got hired at Microsoft. The first game he's promoting is called Blank. Uh, geez, I'm forgetting all my own Wilson did. Uh, the Royal Tannenbaums game. The Royal Tannenbaums game. Well, we'll see if we have any sayings. <laughs> Glenn. I'm seeing Glenn's a lot of grimaces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did try to do a Windows, or sorry, a um, Microsoft uh, Owen Wilson mashup, and I said Windows and me. Ah. Oh. That's a good one. That is. That is. That is. I tried. Uh, I tried. Not, not a math. Not a same. Eric? <laughs> well, I think it's in the same series. Super West Super Anderson West World. Super West Anderson World. Uh, not a same. I'm sorry. Oh. Not a same, but uh, closer. Chris? I said, uh, well, they're trying to go online with their World of Wowcraft. <laughs> wow! Wow! Uh, yep. Geez. Yep. That's uh, that might be the definitive answer. Those were all, all right. such good answers. I'm amazed I didn't they, match any of those. They are. Those are all good. Uh, other panelists, did you uh, did you write any answers just for the funds? Yeah. SpongeBob, I, SpongeBob's Pineapple Express. I, I actually matched wow. Chris. I, I same to oh. Chris. Wow, wow! But not wow. rolling. Wow! Crap. Nice. Nice. All right. Wow. Well done. All right. Well, you still have three going into that round. Wow. So Elizabeth. You need two to tie or three to win. <gasps> uh, you can't same with Eric because you samed in the first question. So question B, my grandma ran out of brown sugar. So instead she used blank in her cookies. Once again, my grandma ran out of brown sugar. So instead she used blank in her cookies. George, do you have a favorite type of cookie? Yeah, chocolate chip, actually. Wow. The, the traditional <laughs> chocolate chip. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Those are good. All right. I, I thought he did a uh, nice job in local. I thought he, he was enjoyable. Yeah, he was, he was uh, more No spoilers. Yes. No, 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 it's okay. No, it's okay that he's in there and you can say his name. Yeah. I'm just saying let's, we won't go too far into it. <laughs> For but, more information, be sure to check out today's sponsor, the Owen Wilson Wow Podcast, <laughs> where we have people doing horrible Owen Wilson impersonations telling hey. fan theories, such as, wow, maybe I'm a variant, or wow, what if I got with Margo, or wow, what if it was just Marley and me? Back to you, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. All right. All the panels are in. Elizabeth, two to tie, three to win. My grandma ran out of brown sugar. So she instead, she used blank in her cookies. Um, I'm going to go with uh, weed. Weed. All right. Seems uh, of the time. So we'll start with Glenn. Glenn, what's in the cookies? We were sort of on the same track because grandma was a hippie. I mean, she's about that age, but I went a little bit deeper into the drug culture and Woodstock and I said brown acid. Brown acid. The stuff they um, warned you about at Woodstock, don't take it. And yeah, that, that would be, that would make for some bad. Grandma's a degenerate, what can I say? All right, I'm not judging your grandma, that's Tommy. Well, it ain't as good, but um, I said she used regular sugar. Regular sugar. Regular sugar. That seems like a, something you could could a substitute, uh, but not a same, I'm afraid. Randy. Uh, I almost said regular sugar, but I thought, yeah, it's not as nearly as fun as sand. Sand for the uh, vindictive they look grandmothers alike. out there. Yes. No. Uh, not a same, not a same. You've got, uh, got a same with Rhea and Chris to win this game. Rhea. Um, you yeah. You look kind of apologetic. 
Yeah, no, uh, I didn't get that. What I did get was grandpa's give me some sugar. <laughs> Ew. It was available. And... Uh, all right. And uh, Chris, just, uh, just to round it out, what you got? I said ground coffee grounds. Ground coffee grounds. Oh, grounds. All right. Uh, <laughs> right color, wrong flavor, but they'll keep you up all night. Uh, Eric, did you did you an answer just for fun or? Uh, I mean, molasses. Like, that's a like, sensible. So you can tell whose cookbooks on the panel you might want to buy and whose you might not want to buy. So Elizabeth, uh, you didn't get any sames in that round, which means George wins game number one. Hey, hey! Remember, uh, best two out of three wins. So. Moving on to uh, to game two. Before we start game two, we're going to chat with the rest of the panelists that I didn't get to chat with earlier. Rhea, how are That's things? Me. It is. <laughs> uh, toasty warm, super toasty warm here in uh, in the beautiful Jersey Shore. We are we are sweating it out. Uh, it is, uh, but you know, otherwise we're just wishing people would just get their vaccine. Yeah, do yeah. it. Get the shot. Do it. So I, I know the uh, the ocean on the Oregon side of the country is frigid, and probably a, a relief to get into this in this sort of weather. How about uh, how about the Jersey Ocean? Um, well, they just released a report that ours is full of bacteria, so probably oh, not a not, great thing to no, jump in. Yeah, not we're a good thinking relief. no on that but you know i've i've resorted to the old uh kids garden hose i just spray myself down every once in a while and you know yeah. that's what keeps it keeps it cool would hope so eric daryl worthley hey this, the that? uh back with us one of the uh <laughs> you're, you're not no glenn you're you're not uh how's it going eric it's moving right along yeah don't do no good to complain. Like a frog and a bear seeing America. <laughs> exactly. Excellent, excellent. And uh, Chris, how have you been? Well, well, we're a little sad because uh, we were trying to send our cat to visit my brother in Seattle by bus, and apparently, apparently they put the cat on a bus to Southern Connecticut. We haven't seen the cat since. We hope the cat's in a good home. Somebody, we hope somebody adopted him. So, I'm, you know, I'm not pointing I'm, fingers or anything. Oh. Did you get a cat? Not yet. That's the scary part. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There's no cat. I'm I'm horribly allergic. So, <clears throat> I, I was I like cats. no cats. I, okay. I did make banana bread. Hey. hey, that's uh, that's an accomplishment, though. I, I don't know that I'd recommend baking in this weather, but that's okay. I know, that would seem dumb, huh? <laughs> uh, you, you know, that's okay. You've got banana bread for it. Uh, and yeah, don't don't ever try and send cats through a, a company called Greyhound. That's just yes. not a good good combination. All no right. Rabbits. rabbits, no rabbits, no. No, not rabbits either. All right, <laughs> uh, moving on to game two. So, uh, Elizabeth. You're going to get first choice this time. You get A or B. Uh, I'm going to go with A. Oh, throw George off his game. All right. Well, round one, question, or game two, round one, question A. So many modifiers there. Uh, Broadway is opening up again next month, we hope. And to stay topical, the first musical is titled Blank. Once again, Broadway is opening up again next month. And to stay topical, the first musical is titled Blank. So Elizabeth thinks on that. George has got his thinking cap on, even though it's not his question. You, uh, you seen a lot of musicals, George, or been in a lot of musicals? You're acting um. Actually, w one thing I did recently, I mean, when I was doing stuff, was uh, musical improv. I did a fair amount of. Uh, that's a lot of fun. If people are into improv, I highly recommend it. It's a very um, very focused kind of thing. And the pit was great. They had really good musicians there, too, to help you. Really good piano players and stuff. So it's a fun thing to do. Excellent. 
All right, looks like uh, our panelists are in. Elizabeth Broadway is opening up again next month. And to stay topical, the first musical is titled blank. Called Mask Up the Musical. Mask Up the Musical. And that one's probably good because it's not going to be about Jim Carrey. All right, so Glenn, let's see if we've got any names. We're so on the right track. I think we're going to need to go to the judges for this one because I said COVID the musical. Note the exclamation point. Uh, I think that might not be specific enough, but uh, we'll see what the judges say. Judges are staying silent. We'll move on. <laughs> I uh, sent the message. No. Judges said no. <sighs> Just is also reminding me of something that I was going to do between rounds anyway. So take that, judges. Tommy, what's uh, that Broadway title? Uh, I went with something very topical for nowadays. Um, and uh, I did Biden my time. Ah. <laughs> my time. Nice, nice. I might see that, but uh, not the same. Randy. Mm. Uh, I said, welcome back. <laughs> Not a same, not funny. but uh, might be, not you funny. know, but, uh, maybe a remake of some 70s schoolyard series. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll take. Uh, Rhea. I, I think we're going to have to go to the judges because I went with The Show Must Go On Masked. The Show Must Go On Masked. I would say yes, and the judges say yes. That's the same. Mark it down on my little scorecard here. And my pen ink is all melted. All right. Uh, Eric. Just revival. Stop the world I want to get off. <laughs> fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not a same. Chris. You're muted, Chris. You might say my answer is a little wilder. I went with our masked town. <laughs> our nice. masked town. It's got mask. I'm going to say yes. That's another same. So two sames in the first round for Elizabeth. Now for question B, George, this question's for you. Australian locations of Arby's just introduced a new sandwich made with blank. Once again, Australian locations of Arby's just introduced a new sandwich made with blank. This round is brought to you by T-shirts. The T-shirts that you can purchase include none other than the brand newly formed Brown Acid, just like Hippie Grandma made. Be sure to check out the comment section to see where you can purchase this wonderful shirt today. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Matt. Uh, yes, so uh, Arby's not, not a sponsor of the the same game, though they might be, depending on what answers we come up with, I guess. But, uh, Glenn is in. Rhea looks like she's in. Very, very thoughtful. Tommy's in. Chris is in. And Randy's. All right. George, Australian locations of Arby's just introduced a new sandwich made with blank kangaroo 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 all right glenn free last free last kangaroo they have the meats all right that is a same tommy i went one of the few other um australia directions but i went koala the best ingredients Ah, koala, the best ingredients. I, I see what you did there, yes. Unfortunately, yes. I do see what I did there as well. That's, and it was, that's not a same. <laughs> yes. uh, very clever. Brandy? Uh, well, y'all know that Arby's stands for America's Roast Beef, yes, sir. So uh, I okay. have Arky's Roast Kangaroo. Australia's kangaroo. Roast Kangaroo, yes, sir. I will take it. That's the same. I'm, I'm actually mad at Arby's right now because they got rid of potato cakes, but uh, that's a separate story. Ria. <laughs> 
Uh, I went with the other other white meat, which is uh, walla beef. Walla beef. Oh no! Nice. I like it, <laughs> but not the same. Eric, that is so good. I'm jealous. <laughs> Eric. Yes. I went with the other 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 white meat. Crocodile. <laughs> or crocodile. I, I've mm. heard they taste like chicken, but uh, we'll see. Chris. Well, being Gen X and remembering those wonderful movies, I also went with Crocodile, but of oh. course now the descendants of Ray Kroc are suing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, that means two sames in that round for George, which means there's a tie going into the second round. Uh, but before we get to the second round, we do want to find out... Uh, Half the proceeds coming in tonight will go to the charity of choice of the winner. So, George, who are you playing for tonight? Uh, it's called the uh, Spit and Vigor Theater Company, and they're located in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, it's a really great group of uh, young artists that um, do theater, live theater in New York. They just recently did a production uh, off, off, off Broadway um, uh, of a play that they wrote and put on called The Wake of Doris Kelly. And uh, it's a really talented group of people. and um, they're doing a fundraiser right now, so I just thought I'd, if we can get something going here for them, it'd be great to do that. Nice, excellent. And Elizabeth? Uh, I am playing for Girls Who Code, uh, which is a nonprofit that encourages um, teenage girls uh, to uh, get involved in technology because there's a huge gender gap in the field and they are looking to close that. So they do uh, after school programs and other um, I believe it's free for the participants um, to get more involved in code and try to close that gap in the workforce. All right, excellent. And uh, links for both those charities will be in the comment section on the Facebook. Uh, even if you come back and watch the video later, they'll be there so you can contribute directly. Or of course you can contribute to the Purnell Theater. And again, half the uh, proceeds generated tonight will go to the winner's charities. So. Elizabeth, it's two to two going into the uh, second half of game two. Once again, you get to choose A or B. Ooh, I'm going to do A again. Going to do A again. And uh, this, by my notes, uh, you can same with everybody except Rhea and Chris. So uh, question A, this is apparently what Matt's going to be writing about now. Uh, the remake of Crocodile Dundee is now about a guy from L.A., and it's called Blank Dundee. So, uh, so in the Olympics, Matt's on an Australia theme. The remake of Crocodile Dundee is now about a guy from LA, and it's called Blank Dundee. This round is brought to you by the Human Steeplechase. If you don't know what the human steeplechase is, well, it's basically people doing what horses do. Take a look. It's hurdles with a pond. And how. Yep. Back to you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. All right. Hollywood's been all about the remakes lately, so... This might not even be the first remake of Crocodile Dundee. But... The first one was Kangaroo Jack, I think. <laughs> um, pretty sure not. I, I think I worked in a movie theater that had that. And, oof. Not good. With Jay Moore and Anthony Anderson? And a rapping hip-hop kangaroo? Yeah. This movie yeah. is guaranteed to make blockbuster success. Uh, when it comes to Crocodile Dundee, that was not a same. All, All right. right <laughs> Looks like the uh, the panelists are in. Uh, and Elizabeth, the remake of Crocodile Dundee is now about a guy in L.A., and it's called Blank Dundee. Uh, struggling screenwriter Dundee. Struggling screenwriter Dundee. Excellent, excellent answer. All right. Glenn, yes. you have a same for us. Uh, well, you know, uh, I think Elizabeth was definitely going on the right track. I lived in L.A. for six years, and there are no animals anywhere to be found except for maybe at the zoo. I strayed a little bit, and I said that it's called 
like an god Dundee, like a god. I, I see what you did there. Uh, not a same, but but good answer. Good answer, Tommy. Can you show us a struggling screenwriter? Uh, I really wish I could, but like uh, Phil Collins said, he can feel this answer coming in the air tonight. Uh, I went with Smogadile Dundee. Yeah. Smogadile Dundee. Smogadile Dundee. All right, Randy. Wait, I really struggled to come up with a good answer, so I didn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, but Elizabeth and I were kind of on the same track, but not quite. I said, movie star Dundee. Ah, movie star Dundee. Uh, unfortunately, one has success and the other is hoping for success, so not a same. Uh, Eric. Uh, I like Chris. I can immediately only think of one guy who was born in East LA. That's Cheech, <laughs> Cheech Dundee. Cheech Dundee. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I, I love that song. Uh, all right, so that means you got two sames. Uh, Rhea or Chris, did you answer just for fun? I did. Um, I went with Crocodile Purse Dundee. Mm -hmm. Nice. Crocodile Purse Dundee. I did not. All right, that's okay. You didn't have to. It's just, you know, the sprinkles on top of the frosting on top of the cupcake. That's that's all. There's plenty of sweets in the, the cupcake and the frosting. All right. Uh, so, two to two still. George. One, same. We'll win it. You get question B. And uh, you can same with everybody except Glenn and Randy. So, Fran Drescher the actress from The Nanny, and of course that uh, Weird Al fantastic movie UHF. Fran Drescher lost her voice. She now sounds like a blank. So once again, Fran Drescher lost her voice. She now sounds like a blank. I remember going to see UHF in the theater. I'm that old. This round of same game is brought to you by Your Name Here. Just donate enough money to the Brunel Theater and your name could be here. That's right, Jay. One of the donors to the Fresnel Theater is Jos Josue Sanchez who donated enough money so it's the Josue Sanchez Memorial Field. He's still alive, but he wants us to remember him. So, the Josue Sanchez Memorial Field. I remember him. All right. Looks like uh, the panelists are in, for the most part. Uh, George, Fran Drescher has lost her voice. She now sounds like a blank. <laughs> this is some question. All right, she sounds like a regular person. Nah. Regular person, regular person. You need one same to win. We'll go down the line. Uh, Tommy. Uh, oof, 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 oof. Well, <laughs> I, I, I think that she now sounds like a ninny. Uh, a ninny. A Not ninny. a same, but I, I get what you were going for there. Uh, Rhea? Uh, still shrill, even when silent, I went with dog whistle. Dog sense. whistle. <laughs> Not the same. Eric? I figure maybe she uh, came back around to the other end. She's a bass now. Bass. Chris? I said a soothing white noise generator. <laughs> a soothing white noise generator. Uh, that's more of a machine than a person, I'm afraid. Not the same. So that leaves us tied, which means we've got to have a tiebreaker. But uh, Glenn, did you answer just for fun? Please? I did. And I went back to the decade when she was most popular. I said she sounds like a fax modem. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Randy, did you have a fun answer? I, oh, I sure do. I have the correct answer, actually. Oh, all right. Uh, if she lost her voice, then she sounds like a mime. Uh... Oh. All right. And mimes, of course, are not regular people. I, All I right. have no words well, for that. We've got to go on to a tiebreaker round. I oh. see what you did there. Uh, for the tiebreaker, what's going to happen? Uh, again, we'll have A or B, but it's not going to be a full question. It's just going to be 
uh, a single word, so like a blank and then a single word, and uh, the panelists will all write their answers and they will all show them at once. So uh, that, that way that saves time, there's not as much banter. You can only handle so much banter around. Uh, Elizabeth, we're gonna let you go again, A or B. I, I guess I'll go B this time. You're gonna go B this time, all right. Elizabeth and panelists, the tiebreaker question B is blank doctor, blank doctor. Hey, remember Josue? Just ask. All right, looks like the panelists are really all in. Elizabeth, what do you think is gonna match the most panelists, or same the most panelists? Blank doctor. Brown acid. Brown acid doctor. All right, well. Scrap it everything. Happen. It could happen, uh, panelists on the count of three, hold up what you wrote. One, two, three, hold them up. Doctor, doctor, spin doctor, spin doctor, eye doctor, rug doctor, and witch doctor. Uh, no sames in that round. Glenn and I samed. It yeah. was, it was, yeah, yeah sames amongst the panel, yes. Uh, all right, George, your tiebreaker here. Panelists, once again, ready? Blank fan. Blank fan. That's F A N. If you were talking to someone from Disney, they'd be spelling it F like Figaro, A like Ariel, N like Nala. The way I spell it is F as in fan. A, as in the second letter of fan, and N, as in the third letter of Fandango. All right. Everyone has their little tricks. All right, looks like the panelists are all in. George, you only need one same to win. Blank fan. You know, I just got to tell you, when I watch at home, it's so different being the offense when you're in the hot spot on camera under all this pressure. But I'm going to go for it. Sports. Sports fan. All right, panelists on the count of three. One, two, three. Hold them up. Big super ceiling, ceiling sports. We've got a mat. We've got a same. Tommy and ceiling. So there were three ceilings, but one sports, which was all you needed. Tommy's giving you the win. That means you won. Two out of the three rounds, you are the same game winner tonight. And that means the winning charity, again, is the, uh, let me scroll back, because it's way the back. The and Vigor Theater in Brooklyn, New York. There we go. Be sure this to check good. it out. Go to fundraising.fracturedatlas.org slash spit hyphen vigor slash campaign slash 4286. The link, once again, is in the comments section. So we'd like oh. to thank you all so much for joining us tonight. I'm going to give it to Jay for the outro. All right. Well, just want to say thanks to uh, everyone for watching. Thanks to George and Elizabeth for being here, uh, competing for their charities. Uh, great job. And thanks to the panel for being here and uh, under the, the pressure of the, the hot lights and, and everything. So, uh, and of course, thank you to Matt for doing all the tech in the background and writing all the questions. And I'm going to turn it over to Matt now for... Uh, the announcing outro part. Once again, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and be sure to check out the wonderful charities that people are talking about here. The Spit and Vigor Theater, um, as well as Girls Who Code, are both wonderful charities. Be sure to donate to them. The links are in the chat for this. If you would like to contribute to our theater, feel free to go to paypal.me slash Fresnel Theater or Venmo us at Fresnel Theater. With our, con with our panelists tonight, give it up for the one, the only... The Randy Hunt. The master of the cards, Glenn Packman.
the one and only person who I would suggest you hire as a bard, Tommy Babar. Love you, Candace. Give it up for Eric Darrow Worthley. Insert idiom here about how he's a nice person. Chris Crotty. The very, very hot, and I don't mean that in a sexual way, Rhea Torricelli. Your winning impaired contestant and my little sister, Elizabeth Guerra. And your winning contestant tonight, George Walsh. Your host tonight was Jay Rambo. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next week. At least they will. I have to go and teach college students how to be nice to each other. See you soon.